This is Mahmoud Hassan Mehra's welcome to another solution tutorial of Soidas. Today we are going to solve this 3D problem. In this 3D problem, this is the isometric view and this is the, our top view and this is our front side view and this is our right side view. So first of all, we will start drawing from the uh, front view. Yeah, in the front view, uh, we will draw this shape first of all. And for, uh, for drawing this shape, uh, I will draw a center line along this along the mid mid line and this center line has a distance of 40 unit and from that center line i will draw two offset line as the total distance is 40 unit so each offset line has a distance of 20 unit okay then i will close the shape after that i will draw a circular profile okay i will use the circle tool then trim away all the extra portion okay then after drawing this portion we can see that uh, uh, it has a total extrude boss of 55 unit you can see here and also you can see here so we will give a extrude boss of 55 unit so after drawing that portion let uh, then we will go back to our right plane in our right plane uh, we will draw this rectangular shape and for drawing this rectangular shape first of all i will draw a center line along the midline and this center line has a distance of 54 unit if we look at the front plane okay and it has a distance of 54 unit then uh, then we can see it has a total uh, distance of 65 unit here so i will draw two offset line sorry it has a extrude boss of 65 unit and for drawing two offset line uh, we can see the offset line has a distance of 35 unit so i'll draw two offset line of 35 unit then i'll close the shape after that i will extrude boss it to 65 unit okay let's go back to our sketch plane so first of all i'm selecting a front plane now right click on it now sketch then normal tweak now select a center line and draw a center line of 40 unit okay after drawing the center line now select the offset increase and select this center line as the total offset distance is 40 units so half this will be 40 divided by 2 so 20 unit make sure to select bidirectional capping and line now press ok so after that you know, let me re enhance the dimensions okay after that we will draw a circular profile uh, for easy drawing i will i am going to select a circle tool for drawing easily now we will trim the all the portion that we don't need so i am selecting the trim into this and trimming all the lines that i don't need so we have trimmed all the lines as it is over dimension so we need to dress some dimension relation so i am selecting uh, select one of those relations and delete it now i submit it for a better view now go to features now it's to boss and is this time we will extrude boss it to 55 units so dimension it to 55 unit and we'll extrude boss from it to mid plane now press ok so this portion has been done now it's time for the right plane so select the right plane from here now right click on it now sketch now normal to it after that select the center line from here and draw a center line and this center line uh, we can see we, this center line has a dimension of 54 unit okay then we will offset the center line and the, this center line has a total distance of 35 unit so it has a 35 unit so the half distance will be 35 divided by 2 so it will be 17.5 unit now press ok now i submit ticket for a better view now go to features now extra boss and this time the extra boss is 65 unit so dimension it to 65 unit and make sure to select them uh, from the mid plane now press ok so this portion has been done now it's time for the extra cut portion for that i i am going to first extra cut from the front uh, front plane and in the front plane I will extra cut e this circle and this extra cut circle has a dimension of 20 diameter then we can see we have another trapezoidal cut and for drawing this trapezoidal cut and uh, first of all I will select a center line from here and this center line has a dimension of say 7 unit and from the center line I will take two offset lines and this two offset line has a uh, total distance of 24 units so half this will be 24 divided by 2 12 unit then here we can see uh, we have some incline line so from this point to this lower point i'll draw two incline line and then make them angle of 72 units then i'll trim all the unnecessary lines after that i will uh, totally is to cut through all sorry i'll have to cut it to uh, through all along the front plane okay and so let's go back to our sketch so i'm selecting the front plane from here now right click on it now sketch then normal to it after that select the circle and place the circle to the previous circle origi origin so i'm drawing a circle of 20 diameter here now press ok now this time we will draw the trapezoidal shape in here 
for drawing the trapezoidal shape uh, i'm selecting the center line from here and this center line has a particle distance of 7 unit then i will select the offset entities and offset it to uh, 24 units so the half distance will be 24 divided by 2 so it will be 12.12 uh, 12 unit now press ok now it's time for we need to draw the incline line of 72 degree angle for that i'm selecting the line tool and drawing an incline line here and similarly again selecting the line tool from here and drawing another incline line here so all the incline line has been drawn now it's time for dimension so i'm selecting the expand dimension tool and select the incline line and this horizontal line and give a dimension of 72 degree in the same way select this other side incline line also and this horizontal line and dimension it to 72 degree so all the portion has been done quite well now it's time for trimming the unnecessary part for that i'm selecting the trim tools from here and trimming away all the unnecessary line that we don't need now press ok now i submit ticket for a better view now go to features now is to cut this time we will to cut it to through all all so i'm selecting the through all both now press ok so at this is to cut portion has been done uh, let's uh, go back to sketch uh, before going back to sketch uh, let me zoom it a little so i'm zooming it zoom it here okay in our sketch uh, we can see we have a circular cut in here so first of all from the right plane i will draw a circular cut and this circular cut has a dimension of 20 unit then i'll uh, circular cut it through all all after that we can see we have another uh, this incline sh shaft key cut and this incline shaft key cut has a uh, dimension of 8 unit and for drawing this uh, has a stood cut of 8 unit and for drawing this extra cut portion uh, we will first uh, draw a center line at this right surface and after drawing this center line we will draw another inclined center line and this inclined center line has a dimension of 35 degree and from that inclined center line uh, this inclined center line uh, will have a dimension of as you can see it is a uh, circle so this circle has a total dimension of 20 diameter so here to here uh, this dimension is 10 unit and then we'll have a have an extra dimension of 5 units so total dimension will be 15 unit so we'll draw a line of 15 unit total and we can see it has a total uh, wide of 4 unit for that i will draw two offset line of 4 divided by 2 units so each offset distance is 2 unit then i'll close the shape after that i will extra cut it to 8 unit uh, okay let's go back to drawing so first of all i am selecting the right plane here now right click on it now sketch the normal to it after that uh, oh, i have forget that uh, this 20 radius circle a 20 diameter circle has a particle distance of 40 unit okay so for that i am selecting the circle tool from here and drawing a circle along this dotted center line you can see if you hover your mouse along the origin of center line so draw a circle of 20 diameter so drawing a circle of 20 diameter after that select this one dimension tool and select this line tool and uh, this horizontal line for a vertical distance of 40 units so i'm drawing a vertical distance of 40 unit now i submit it for a better view now go to features now is to cut now is to cut it through all both so i'm selecting this to cut it to through all both now press ok so our is to cut portion has been done now select this face right face now right click on it now sketch and then normal tweet after that uh, select the uh, center line tool from here and draw a center line along the previous circle origin and drawing a center line vertical center line okay from this vertical center line we will again select the center line tool and this time we will draw a center line of uh, center line of 35 degree angle and as we have discussed this distance is 10 unit we have to extend our center line to 15 unit total uh, so uh, the dimension will be 20 divided by 2 that is 10 unit plus extra 5 unit so it will be 15 unit okay now select the expand dimension tool and now select this incline line and this vertical line and make an angle of 35 degree angle okay we have drawn a 35 degree angle now uh, this time the, uh, we need to offset the interest so select the offset interest and select this incline line and it has a total offset of 4 units so the half offset will be 4 divided by 2 so it will be has offset of 2 unit make sure to select bidirectional capping and line now press ok so after that now i submit ticket for a better view now go to features 
now is to cut now is to get it to 8 unit so dimension it to so we need to select the blind tool from here and now give the manual dimension 8 unit here now press ok so our dimension has been drawn so we have drawn the key shape here now I submit it for a better view let's go back to our drawing and uh, let me zoom out it okay in our drawing uh, this time we can see we need to give the fillers in here we can see uh, around this corner and around this corner here you can see here and here uh, it has a fillet of radius 2 in it then we can see uh, it also have a fillet here and uh, uh, this lines and this lines has a fillet of radius 2 in it also so this time we will give all the fillets here for that i'm selecting the fillet tool from here and now uh, selected the radius of 2 in it for fillet now select this line and select this other corner and select this line so all the all of the, our design line has been selected in this set so in the same way we will rotate our model and select all the lines that we need to do flats now press ok now isometric it for a better view so as you can see we have done our 3d sketch thank you for watching till the end thanks for watching and keep learning be different